Welcome back to Tissue World TV, I'm Michael Jackson. We're continuing with our series of interviewing the expert presenters from the conference element here at Tissue World in Milan. We've moved into day two into the technical sessions and now indeed we're moving into kind of raw materials and looking at what's going on in the world of raw materials as well. Our next guest therefore fits that profile beautifully. Her name is Bibiana Rubini. She's the product development coordinator from Fibria in Brazil. And you presented a fantastic paper this Thank afternoon. You. Moving away from commodities, your title in fact was that, wasn't it? Yes. Getting out of commodities. We're looking at things like high tensile eucalyptus. Was it a, a strange kind of thing to present to the audience here? or? Well, I think it goes straight to your speech on yesterday. We want to do it differently. We don't want to be just like everybody else in the market. We want to deliver the perfect product to our customers, a perfect fit for their needs. And that's where Yuka Strong, our higher tensile eucalyptus, came from. Now, you co presented with a partner from Switzerland yes. as well. Yes. So, nice collaboration working between Brazil and Switzerland here? Yes. Uh, actually, my co author used to work for Fibria. Uh, he's a technical assistant and was a supportive partner in the customers, doing the trials, making the product work. So, he was uh, responsible for the part where we present the case studies showing how our eucalyptus, Yuka Strong, works. Fantastic. So, the main message then in your dual presentation, what did you want the audience to walk away with? They're doing things differently. Challenge your process, challenge the common knowledge. You don't have to think of eucalyptus as the same fiber everywhere. You can come to Fibria or uh, to our research development or to your own process and think differently. You can do things differently even if they have been the same for such a long time. So what we wanted to show is that we can deliver a better product that can make uh, the customer's process more profitable and better product to the end consumer in the end. So how good is high tensile eucalyptus as a, as a raw material? <laughs> I knew you'd say that. <laughs> our eucalyptus, our eucalyptus, uh, what it delivers is 30% more tensile than the average eucalyptus in the market uh, without drawbacks in drainability or in bulk or in uh, softness, which, is th which are desirable properties for tissue. Yeah, very much so. All yes. of those, in fact, are much sought after in terms <laughs> exactly. of the world of tissue exactly. as well. Exactly. And our UK Strong delivers that uh, higher tensile, allowing to reduce energy for refining, uh, dry strength agents, uh, soft wood, longer fibers. Longer fibers are more expensive. So you can use more of UK Strong, eucalyptus, get more softness, get the bulk and reduce your furnish cost. So in many ways, you were kind of ticking all the boxes yeah, for everything that was going on at conference. Yes. And talking about collaboration as well and all those good things coming through. Um, you're no stranger to the world of tissue world. You've mm -hmm. been to a couple of tissue worlds before. Yes. But you traveled a long way from Brazil. Was it worthwhile for you? Yes, of course. Tissue World is a great, great opportunity to see how the market's going, uh, great presentations uh, on different themes, uh, and of course, do some networking with other suppliers, and of course, our customers are also here. So not only were you sharing here, but also learning in the same of way course. as well. Yes. You know, Brazil, one of 90 countries, or slightly more than 90 countries, represented here. I mean, this really is a world of tissue. We yes. call it tissue world, but it makes sense. Yes. The world <laughs> comes to Milan right now for this week. Yes. It's been amazing. It is. I met so many nice people, and I'm very happy to be here. And hopefully, we'll come uh, to the other editions. Excellent. Now, when you go back to Brazil, all that way home, and your bosses sit with you and say, so, Bibiana, <laughs> what happened? What are you going to say made you most happy? Ooh, this interview? Oh, joking. Uh, I think what made me most happy here was to see so many uh, new ideas coming up. Uh, a lot of great developments and opportunities of partnership. So I'm very satisfied with the trip. Fantastic. And we're very glad that you made the trip all the way across <laughs> from Brazil. Good luck with your business. I thank hope it you. grows well for you. Thank you. And thank you. A pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you too. Thank you very much thank indeed. Thank you.